So here we have an old CD player. I already started taking the thing apart. This was the top of it and went to a stereo. Uh, all these microchips here, you see this look, all this stuff is good. Even though the laser's all screwed up, all this stuff over here is still good. Now look, transistor, transistor's good, capacitors, all this stuff's still good, so I'm not going to throw it away. In a minute, I'm going to take these uh, circuit boards out of here, and I'm going to melt the leads underneath all these microchips. And then I'm going to put them in my little microchip collection. And this has a digital screen on the front too. I'm going to save that too. I doubt I'll ever use it, but you never know. You never know when you're going to need another microchip or, your, or a new transistor. If you're listening to your stereo one day and you blow a transistor, and you say, ah, shit, I should have saved them. I should have saved that CD player. It had 50 of them in it. Look, see all these transistors? They're all good. I bet you not one of them are blown out. I bet you every one of them work. All right, so yet again, we have another boring video for you to watch. I'm going to be ripping microchips off of these circuit boards. Right there and right here. This is just what I do. When I get bored, I try and put my mind to things. Like right now, I'm just sitting around, high on Robitussin, bored out of my mind, so I'm like, all right, why don't I use this time to my advantage? Since I'm like that, I might as well make a video. <laughs> might as well make a video of ripping microchips out of a broken CD player. <laughs> why not, right? All right, so anyway, here we go. I got the soldering iron. I started out with this board. I got a couple microchips. Now look. I don't know how shit. I don't know how good you can see these uh, microchips here, but look, you melt the leaves on the back and you pull them out. It's very simple. Uh, let me get a better. Hang on. I'll, you see, the camera's like your eyes. Uh, the camera is you. The camera is what what you see. So, let me show you how to do this. Don't mind me. I'm really high right now. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to pull these microchips off the board. Okay, we're going to pull this capacitor right here off the board. So first thing you do is you look where the leads are going and then you flip the board over and voila, there they are. And you look again, double check. You see that they're right next to each other and there's a jumper. So it's not the first two leads right here. It's not the first two, it's the second two. These two leads right here go to that capacitor that I'm going to be taking off the board. So what we got to do now is watch this. I'm going to try and give you the best camera angle that I can. But what you got to do, look, what you got to do is you got to pull the microchip. When you want to take these off, you got to pull the microchip and take your soldering iron and do this. Watch. Melt the solder and pull at the same time and it'll come off the board once the solder melts. Melt the solder and you pull. Alright, I know it's not, I know you probably can't see this too good, but look, you melt the solder and you pull the microchip at the same time. That's how you get them off the board. I'm pulling the microchip from the other side, and now all you do, look, I don't know how good you can see this. I love salvaging old microchips though, just a crazy hobby that I have. I love to salvage old junk. See, I'm the junk man, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> I'm the junk man. But you know what? Look at that. Junk man knows how to survive, doesn't he? <laughs> All right. Ah! Fuck! I just burned myself with a siren arm. Ah! <clears throat> you shouldn't have seen that. <clears throat> anyway, look. I got. All right. There's a little capacitor. It's right there. There she is. Look at that. I just singed the heck out of my hand over this little tiny capacitor. But anyway, now I'm going to put that in my little collection here. See, uh, that's the little jar I'm keeping all my microchips in from this circuit board here. All right, here's another capacitor. I don't know what it is with me and capacitors, but I'm going to pull that one out next. Watch this. This one right here. So. 
what you do is you put your finger on it, flip it over, and you find the leads. The leads to this capacitor are right here and here. Flip it over, double check. And then once you know where it's at, all you gotta do is pull on it, take your soldering iron, and pull it through the board. See, these big companies, they don't want you to know that. They want you to go out and buy new shit, but it's so easy to fix your old stuff. You know, I mean, it's not rocket science. To some people, this might look like rocket science, but it's not. It's very simple, basic electronics. I mean, dude, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm one of the dumbest people around. Ah, we have ourselves a crystal oscillator. Look at that. Four leads. Or wait. That might only have two leads. I'm going to take out that crystal oscillator next. I can use them crystal oscillators for a lot of things. Depending on what the frequency of it is. You don't find many of them anymore. They used to put them in remote control cars. I heard that uh can actually build an AM transmitter with one of these. But they're on a set on a set frequency though, that's the only thing. There we go. You don't have many much room to solder, but I can always extend the leads. Now I'm curious what the frequency is. Sixteen point nine. Alright, so that's the frequency right there. I, uh, I guess that's 16 megahertz. I might be wrong. I don't know. 9344. That's probably megahertz. 16.9 megahertz. I don't know. You know something? There is a lot of people out there who think that I'm crazy. Alright? Like people in real life. But you know what though? I'm going to give you an honest opinion of how I see them. All right, I don't judge people. I don't stick a label on people. I used to do that. I try not to do that anymore. However, people do that to me. And they label me as crazy. They label me as, uh, how could I say? Uh, drug addict. Uh, hippie. <laughs> I got all kinds of names for me. But in the end, it's not going to change who I am. You know what I'm saying? Make a long story short. If you're looking at my face right now, you have a computer system. Or you have a telephone that has access to the internet. You can learn a lot of things. Okay, if you're watching me right now, if you're able to see this. Uh, you can learn a lot of things. Alright, now, what I'm doing over here with these microchips, see, the camera's like you. Whenever I look at the camera, I'm basically looking at you. <laughs> anyway, look, these microchips right here, I'm not done with the circuit board yet, but... <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, it's good to save all your old microchips, because, you see, even though the circuit board... I know it looks like rocket science, <laughs> but when you look at the back here, once you find out where the leads are, it's not so hard to... Later on down the road, you're going to need these microchips. Instead of going to Radio Shack and spending five hours for a whole pack of them or whatever, you know, just take your soldering iron and pull them off the board. That's what I say, you know what I mean? Why pay for something if you can get it free? You find half this stuff in the trash. People throw out so much stuff in the trash, it's not even funny. They throw out television sets, stereo systems, everything. And chances are there's only one blown capacitor. Or the fuck... Or, I'm going to try and not curse. I'm sorry about that. Uh, either, you know, a lot of times with the tape players, the belts, over time, the belts will start to stretch. Or it'll start to deteriorate. So the tape will start to drag and it won't play right and they'll throw it in the trash. Instead of taking it apart and fixing it, they'll throw it in the trash and buy something new. You see, like, when they throw stuff in the trash, that's where people like you and me come in. We take the boards and, uh, you know, just pull off the microchips. 
one man's junk is another man's treasure. <laughs> Somebody told me that years and years and years ago, and all my life, I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's true. One man's junk is really another man's treasure. Right here's an example. This CD player didn't work, so I'm like, all right, I'll take it apart, take all the microchips out of it. <laughs> Might as well. I got nothing else better to do, you know what I mean? Might as well. Why not pull some microchips off the circuit board, maybe build something? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to build with these, but somewhere down the line, I'm sure I can use these microchips, you know? I mean, uh, just saying, I'm going to get back to what I'm doing. I don't want to talk your head off. This is going to be a short video I'm putting out there for you guys. Uh, I hope you understand where I'm coming from on this. I hope you understand. I seriously hope you understand. There's our little microchip collection. Look at that. All right, this microchip right here looks cool. I want this one. So I'm going to pull that off the board. Now, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this. All right, I'm going to try and give you the best view that I can. As you see, I got my finger on the microchip here. And I'm going to heat it up with the soldering iron. All right, I'm going to melt this. I know you probably can't see it too clear. But what I'm doing is I'm pulling from the other side as I'm melting this. All right, I'm sorry about the camera angle. It's just it's the best I can do for right now. But I'm pulling the microchip from the other side of the board. I got half of it out. I just need to melt that. There we go. Ah, look at that. Got it out. See that? Right there she is. Put that in a collection. Now what else can we get here? Uh, ah, another capacitor. I'm going to try and get this capacitor right here. So, same thing as before. Put your finger on it. Pull from the other side and heat up the leads. That's all you got to do. Alright, so sorry the camera cut me off there. Look, all you got to do is pull from one side of the board and heat up the leads. Alright, I got one lead out. I got another one out. Just like that. Almost done. Oh, look at that. Just like that. See that? You pull from one side of the board, and then you heat up the leads with the soldering iron. And as you pull, the solder melts, and it comes right off the board. Now, let's see what else we got here. Uh, all right. Uh, how about this big microchip right here, this big capacitor? Let me see if I can find that. All right. That's going to be a little, a little tough. All right. Let's try this. All right, let me give you some advice real quick. Whenever you're doing this, it's best to start on the outside of the board. <clears throat> and make your way in. Because as you see, see how complicated it is on the back? best to start from the outside where you get your simple leads like you see how this one right here has two you look on the back and then you see that the two leads are right there it's easier and then as you make your way in it gets easy you know you don't want to just start in the middle because it's going to be very hard to find what you're looking for uh so you know just uh start from the outside and make your way in that's what i do that's just my own you know crazy method that i've made up over the years uh, I'm going to try and continue what I'm doing here. Hopefully you'll understand. <laughs> now, I'm going to take out this capacitor right here. Alright, while we have this quality time, I figured I might just show you guys what these microchips are. Actually, wait. Let me bring over my little container here. Pour some out. Alright, first of all, this right here is a capacitor. Now I'm not a rocket scientist, I don't know all of them. I know that all three of these are capacitors. Whenever you see these inside of a radio or whatever you're taking apart, and they have three leads, they're transistors right here. Black thing. Now these, I think this is also called a transistor, I don't know. I don't know what they're called, they're like ceramic round disc transistors or something I don't know but they're good to have and these right here are resistors but they're too small I'm not going to try and take them out they're too small now over here see these little black things these are transistors they have three leads and 
I might take these things out. I wonder how hard that's how hard it is to take these out. Ah, four leads. Alright. About four leads. Probably pull them out of here. Not real crazy. You see, you can find some good stuff in your old stereos, television sets. People just throw it away. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. Now let me put all these microchips back in here. You know, people they just throw everything away. Like it's not like it's not very useful. You know, they don't want to take the time to pull out the microchips, they'd rather uh, throw it away and buy something new. But me, I get bored and I mess around with things. <laughs> you know, if you have a soldering iron, you know what I mean. Soldering iron, you can get one anywhere. You can get one from a flea market for like a dollar, two dollars. You know? Build a lot of stuff, dude, really. No joke. <laughs>